Welcome back. 6.45 this Sunday morning. I was just kidding a couple minutes ago. We're going to get to Big Old Fish in the next hour. Mallory's here now with a check at the weather. Pretty humid out there today. Yeah, if you are headed out doing a little fishing this morning, it's a bit soupy. That's a good word for it. If you're out on your favorite lake, the air is still. We're not seeing much movement and you're probably not seeing much visibility. There is a fair amount of fog that has developed across a lot of the area and we're going to continue to see that be the case as we go through the first couple hours this morning before it lifts and we get just a little bit of that sunshine in. But a look over Standish right now, the St. Louis campus and yeah, you see see that low-lying cloud cover. It's just kind of hovering. A few little light pockets, but we'll see breaks in the clouds that will spark up some showers and storms, but we'll get breaks in the clouds eventually. Three-mile visibility right now in Augusta, two and a half in Waterville. This low-lying cloud cover and fog is spreading a little bit, and we'll probably see it get to its worst point in the next hour or so before we start to see it lift. Five-mile visibility into Wiscasset, six for Portland and Sanford, but not too bad as you head down toward Portsmouth. An overall look at the satellite and radar does show a fair amount of cloud cover still hovering over the southern half of the state. Also some heavier showers just now moving out of down east areas and out of the county. That is the warm front that came through the rest of the state during the overnight. It's finally getting through the eastern part of the state. Now we're in the warm sector, which means we are going to be a bit more ripe for showers and storms today. That's the only area of energy. We can see that low spinning to our north, just to the north and west of Quebec, and the front starting to move through. The cold front's going to come through today pretty quickly, but we are still going to be feeling that heat and humidity before it does press through, and it doesn't have a lot of relief behind it, to be honest. Temperatures are around 70 at the coast. We are looking at around 60 to the mountains and far eastern parts of the state. It's a bit uncomfortable from the moisture perspective this morning, and that's just just being in that warm sector now. The humidity is up. The dew points are about 10 to 15 degrees higher than they were yesterday. All right, so we have a cold front. We have warmth. We have moisture. Of course, we're going to now have the threat for showers and storms to come this afternoon. We have all of our ingredients for storm development, and we could have some strong to severe ones as well. So this is 2 o'clock. They're going to start to bubble up fairly early, right around noontime, and we could have some severe ones. We see some cells starting to form into central parts of the state by 3, 4 o'clock, and those will start to press eastward throughout the remainder of the afternoon and evening. Once we hit sunset, though, they're pretty much done. Cold front is gone. Our instability is gone. We've lost our ingredients, so we're going to have smoother sailing into the overnight. Into Monday, we have brief a brief break, I'll call it, in humidity. We'll get down to around the low 60s for Monday morning. Monday during the day, most of it's fairly nice. We have a couple stray showers inland, that's about it. Monday night into Tuesday, we bring in another round of a more steady rain. So this will likely impact Tuesday morning into Tuesday afternoon, but it kind of breaks apart by the time it gets to Maine. So it's more of a dreary day rather than a washout day, which is what it looked like a couple days ago. So we at least had some, I'll call that minor improvement. It's still not going to be a great day. Temperatures are going to be cooler for Tuesday, and that will keep the threat for severe weather down, unlike today. So we do have that severe weather risk as we head into the afternoon hours, mostly I'd say between 12 and 6, probably that prime time for the entire state, most of New Hampshire and some of Massachusetts as well. On the water today, we've seas around 3 feet, southerly winds about 10 knots. Seven-day forecast, not bad today and Tuesday are really the concerning days as far as impactful weather and especially today with the severe weather. We do get that brief break tomorrow, but then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, some real nice summer days on the docket. It'll be nice to get outside and enjoy some rain-free and not so bad humidity days. That is a good looking <laughs> week overall. We'll take it. Thank you, Mallory.